Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the Pull Up Mate 2 and answering the question of, is it worth it? It's very expensive, is it worth the money? Um, before we get into that though, if you're interested in body weight training or anything to do with Pull Up Mate, make sure that you subscribe. If you wanna go and check out this product, make sure you use the link down in the description below and don't forget to take advantage of the discount codes that will be down there as well. So the question I get asked quite a lot is, is this product worth it? If you go to the Pull Up Mate website, you will see that this is their most expensive product, okay? It's 295 quid. Um, compared to the first one, the Pull Up Mate one, which is 119 quid, there's quite a big difference in price. And many people think, is it worth the money? Um, there's quite a big leap between the two, um, and it's a big chunk of money to invest up front. So to answer that question, I sort of wanna go into the reasons about why I bought one, um, and if now, if I could go back, would I still spend the money? So 295 quid, it does sound like a lot of money, but I kind of see this product as an investment. And whenever we buy any gym equipment, okay, regardless of how big or how small, every single one is an investment, okay? We're looking to get something back in return that's gonna allow us to save money or get fit or get healthy in the long run. And every single piece of equipment we buy to train at home, we are comparing that to what we can get in the gym. If you wanna to go to the gym, you have got a monthly fee going out every single month. Mine was 30 pound a month. Yours could be your more, yours could be less. Whatever it is, that money is coming out of your account every single month. And if you don't go to the gym, it doesn't matter. If you go to the gym every day, it doesn't matter. That money is still going out, but at the end of the month, you don't own anything from that, okay? You haven't invested money and you've got something from this. I've bought this, I own this, I. If I look after it, this could last me a lifetime. When you're paying that money into the gym, you're just renting it. That's it, so that's the big difference. You're making an investment on something that you're gonna be able to have for how you look after it, and obviously the quality of the piece of equipment. And so far I can agree so far, this is a great piece of equipment, it's solidly built, it's well made. This, if I look after it, could last me 10, 15, 20 years. Compare the gym memberships to that. The other thing that you have to look at is and this goes for the Pull Up Mate 2, and it goes for the Pull Up Mate 1. You're paying for something that is completely and utterly portable. For any of you that have trained at home and done any sort of bodyweight training, or maybe you have a few home gym bits of equipment at home, some weights, or whatever it is, the flexibility of being able to train in your own home is huge. Not having to worry about traveling to and fro, worry about little small things like what you're gonna wear or anything like that. It fits into your structure your life so much easier when you're able to train at home. You don't have to worry about sharing equipment, the conditions of the equipment, the fact that people sweating or shitting or fighting all over the equipment. You don't have to worry about that or that dirtiness. Like you're in your own gym, you can look after it, you can listen to whatever music you want. You've got that flexibility. Um, and obviously if you invest in good quality equipment, it can last you a very, very long time. Um, I've had this now for about six months, and so far it has been a solid piece of equipment. Um, it's been up for most of that six months, but when it comes to taking this thing apart and putting it together, it's really, really easy. When you first buy this, the instructions of how to put it together comes with it, obviously. But I guarantee the first time you put it together will be the last time you need that piece of paper. It is so easy to fit together, and once it's put together once, it's so easy. You'll look at it and think, that goes there, that goes there. and there's no tools, um, you know, you don't have to worry about bringing a spanner or if you forget something, you're not gonna be able to put it together. It uses these, these little pins, this will slot in, there's holes that line up for every single of the bar and then you slide that through and it latches, okay? You get a few of them spare, but that's literally it. You've got the bars and you've got this. So you've got something that is very, very easy to assemble. I've got a little clip here where I'm putting it together, I'll fast forward it, but it's very, very easy to assemble no tools, no other little things you've got to worry about putting together, and that's it. You've got something that is 100% portable, the fact that you can take it anywhere. Like, how much do you put a price on that to be able to train wherever you want? How many of you have been able to exercise and work out outdoors? How many of you have a gym that actually has an outdoor section, that actually has equipment that you can use outdoors, take outdoors? Not many of you. Okay, I've been to many gyms that don't even have access outdoors. Everything is inside, um, and depending on the quality of the gym, some do, some don't have air conditioning. So sometimes it's horrible to be training there when it's hot sunny weather. Wouldn't you prefer to be working out outdoors? Maybe working out at the beach, working out in a field, out in the sun. This piece of equipment is gonna offer you that. How much is that worth to you? 
being able to do a variety of different exercises. I have been in a position where I have bought different pieces of equipment for different, say, body parts or different things. Once you start racking them all up, they can actually add up to quite a lot of money if you're getting different things, different pieces of equipment for different specific exercises or different specific body parts. It can add up. This allows you to train your whole entire body with one piece of equipment that, yeah, it takes up a bit of room now, but it does fold apart into two bags that you can put where you can fit in the back of your car, you can fit in your garage, you can fit on top of your wardrobe. How much is that worth to you? Um, the fact that you're able to do advanced calisthenic moves. So if you're someone who is at that skill level, or maybe you're someone who aspires to get to the point where you're able to do them, be able to do muscle-ups, human flags, um, the front lever, even like handstand holes using the bars at the bottom, like how much is that worth to you being able to do that in your own home? When normally you would have to go to a park or anywhere else, or maybe even a proper calisthenics gym that has those facilities. You have to pay for that. You've got nothing to show for it at the end. How much is that worth to you? Um, and that boils down to the question, is the pull-up mate too expensive? In my opinion, no, because you get so much for that money and it fits into your lifestyle. You're able to do so many different exercises. You've got so much variety, so much flexibility for your training and into your life that that 295 quid does not seem a lot of money to me. But it obviously comes down to your budget and what you value and what you prioritize when it comes to your training. That is a question that you're gonna to have to answer. If you're someone that has the pull-up mate one and you're thinking, oh, is there much of a difference between the two? In my opinion, yes. The fact that you've got this bar, makes a huge difference. When you're doing your pull-ups, you lean this way, I'll show you. You're doing your pull-up and it wants to lean this way. You pull, okay? Some of you may have seen the videos and maybe you're worried. If you're thinking about getting the pull-up made one, what's gonna be different? You might see them wobble. This bar takes 80% of that wobble, if not 90% of that wobble. A little bit of movement, again, these bars are sliding into each other, fixed together this, they're not screwed in, bolted in, they're not welded together, okay, so there's gonna be a bit of wiggle, but that takes up most of the wiggle. Um, they have designed this piece of equipment to do muscle-ups, to do human flags, they recommend it. This is what this product is for. The base is a little bit wider because you've got these extra bars, they actually come down and actually make the base that little bit wider. So compared to the first one, you've got a wider, more stable base. Okay, so in my opinion, the Pull-Up Mate 2 is superior to the first one, but again, what's your budget? Do you want something that goes away in two bags or one? One that's quicker and easier to thing, um, put together, less bars? You might prefer the Pull-Up Mate 1 if you've got a smaller budget and you, you want to do pull-ups. Pull-Up Mate 2 is superior. How much is it? Is it expensive? That's down to you, in my opinion, no. It's value for money and it's a great product. Um, like I said, if you want to check out this product for yourself, Check out the link down below. Don't forget to use the discounts. If you like bodyweight fitness or anything to do with Pull-Up Mate 2, make sure that you subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.